Right, the other bear was in the park. Um, there was a new squirrel there, he's a young male. Um, I wanted to go back down and get him, hopefully get some video footage, get some images. He's really absolutely crackingly marked. Um, his colouring is just absolutely beautiful. So, uh, the videos about what happened when I was in there, so I'll leave you to watch it and enjoy. Right, I'm going down the park. Um, why well, get some new squirrel shots? There's a new young one that's in the area. Um, I think he's just no longer at the nest, but he's a healthy male specimen. Absolutely cracking mark, so I've been doing a really like focus on him in the day, trying to get some decent images. Um, hopefully, a wee bit of video footage as well. So, uh, <sighs> my cat line up for today. So, obviously, my camera, I've got the 100mm lens on it. Got the 7300 in there, I'm probably not going to use it. I've got my flash, uh, my camcorder. It's a really basic kit and my tripod. So, um, it's going to get out to see what I get. I'll get my normal birdie images and stuff like that as well. So, um, hopefully, I'll get some decent. Alright, I'll see you down there. So, get yeah, off the bat. Uh, I got a female squirrel I've been following in her all summer. Um, and I know it's her because she's got a very distinctive black patching on her nose. Um, so I was brought to see her and see she's doing fine. <coughs> what I got when I was standing as well was right about two feet from my feet was a rabbit. Never even seen it until I moved and it was oh, absolutely fantastic. Um, just standing quiet in the woods, just in there in that area, a little wall, um, I've never seen them in there, so, good, good session, I mean, even if I walk away now, they next to nothing, I'm still happy, so as I'm talking to you, um, at the feeding point, and you'll see the video camera there as well, <coughs> got a pigeon I'm eating, so, I'm also getting some pretty decent footage of that, got a couple of good images as well, so, I came down for my squirrels and I'm not seeing them, so I'm not prepared to be I've shifted to my other spot um, and the bit I'm in, I'm not getting any squirrels in there, but I'm staying down to get that brown one and it's just no here. Uh, so I'm going to set up here, well I've got to set up. I'll let them come in and see what I can get. It might be too late in the day, I have a funny feeling it is, so um, I could see me having to get off it. So I clock in the morning and go painkiller happy to get down here and do an early morning shoot. <sighs> the things you do for a hobby. Huh. So I've been making it this bit for 40 minutes. Um, I've only just got the bird coming in. <sighs> nice sign of the squirrels. Um, none at all. You usually get one or two of them just foraging about. I'm a wee bit disheartened saying that. I see one now. I'm not sure if it's the male I've been wanting to capture. I think it is, and it's a stunningly marked little squirrel, so I'm hoping it will come over. When I work, I'll get some images, and um, hopefully a wee bit of video footage as well. Just have to wait and see. Right. I'm keeping quiet. Right, just did the squirrel, and um, I've got some video footage on, but I've got a photo of you just with me, sir. I think that's as good as it's going to get the day. Right, 